Suspect who is accused of attempted capital murder of Fort Worth police officer Matt Pierce was supposed to appear in court today, but we found out he didn't have to show up after all. Jack Fink in studio to explain why. So, what's the answer? Well, Doug, Egg McDiver Jr. didn't have to appear in court as scheduled because he already has an attorney, but there's still a key question remaining about the evidence against him. This is Officer Pierce continues to thank the public for their support. Well, I I'm going back. There's no doubt about it. More than two months after being shot, Matt Pierce vows to return to the job he loves as a Fort Worth police officer. I'm a much more humbled man, I would say. Not that I was arrogant before, but this is a very humbling experience. Fort Worth police still aren't disclosing ballistics tests that would show whether 21-year-old Ed McIver Jr. fired his gun at Pierce. Investigators say the suspect's father, Ed McIver Sr., did fire his weapon and hit Pierce. The older McIver died in a shootout with police. Defense attorneys say ballistics tests aren't considered public information. As for the officer, he appeared at the Main Street Back the Blue event this weekend. Uh, from the second after I, you know, was, was injured, people started rallying behind me. And if you look around, you'll see all these Team Pierce t-shirts. Nobody forced them to buy those. They did it because they wanted to support me. And I, I, I know my family and I really appreciate it. An appreciation for a supportive community and family. And it reminds you that you know, what's important in your life? What's more important? Um, you know, my family, my faith, all that's more important than anything else I'll ever do. McIver Jr. faces attempted capital murder, theft of a firearm, and drug possession. We should learn more about the charges against McIver Jr. next month. Prosecutors have 90 days to file their case after the suspect's arrest.